graphing basic trigonometric functions. So here we're going to look at graphing y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. So let's start with y equals sine x. Let's go to our x, y axis. Now the graph of y equals sine x, if you start from zero, it goes up, down, and back. And yeah, this is a 360. This is at 180. That peak there happens at 90. That one there is at 270. And the graph is in between 1 and minus 1. Now, the graph actually goes forever, repeating itself over and over again. The part that I drew first we actually call a period, where this is the part that's repeating forever. So if we did this, it would continue and continue and continue forever. And we'll do the same thing this way, continue forever that way. So you can see the part that repeats happens between 0 and 360. So here we can say the period is 360 degrees. Basically, it's just the distance that the graph repeats over. And the graph is between 1 and minus 1. And that length here from the middle to the highest point or the middle to the lowest point is both 1, and we call that the amplitude. So this has an amplitude of 1. Let's have a look at the graph of y equals cos x. It's very similar to sine, but instead of starting at 0, it actually starts at 1. And it's the exact same pattern. And this is one period that I've drawn, going from 0 to 360. So that's 180 there. That's 270. And it cuts at 90, going from 1 to minus 1. And again, this graph does go forever in both directions and repeats itself. And again, the period from 0 to 360, because this is the part that repeats, so there and there, and that would go forever. So exactly the same as sine. It's period is 360, and its amplitude is 1. What about tan x? Tan x is a little different. So it starts at zero and actually goes up and actually has an asymptote at 90 degrees where the graph never touches. And we get this cubic like shape and that's the part that actually repeats. So another asymptote at 270 this is meant to be cutting at 180. And we get this part here. Just fix up this. Make it a little bit longer. And here is where it would stop at 360. So if we're graphing this between 0 and 360, this is what it would look like. But the graph does repeat itself forever. So another asymptote at minus 90, and this would keep going, and there's an asymptote every 180 degrees. And because the graph repeats itself every 180 degrees, that's its period. So its period is 180 degrees, and different to sine and cos, there is no amplitude because it goes up forever and down forever. So there's no, no amplitude 
for a tan graph. So usually you are you asked to graph them within a domain because they do go forever. So if you're asked to graph between 0 and 360, for the sine graph, you'd only be showing this section here. For the cos graph, you'd only be showing this section here. And for the tan graph, you'd be showing this section here. Thank you.